What are you morons thinking? Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? Stupid people who make summer deadly. Just follow me and you'll understand. Each of the four seasons kind of have something about them that can arguably make life challenging. You know, because of the weather or natural shit like that. But when you really think about it, the spring and fall really don't really do anything that dangerous weather-wise. One season sprouts leaves and the other season drops leaves. So maybe we can remove spring and fall from this discussion. But things happen in the winter and summer because of the extreme weather. That should make people think before they go outside or, or drive somewhere to visit. So let's leave winter alone for now and just talk about the summer because it's summertime right now. First of all, no matter where you are, you have to respect the power of nature. You just do. But stupid people will do stupid things and fuck themselves. So I'm here to talk to the sensible people because there will always be a group of idiots who you just can't reach. So here goes. If I hear one more news story about a baby or child or animal left in a car with the windows up on a hot summer day, I'm going to tear my fucking hair out. And I paid a fortune for my hair plugs. I mean, holy fucking shit. What are you morons thinking? How horrible of a person can you be? Do you really not know how hot it gets in a car at this summer? I, I just got in the car. The fucking steering wheel, it's hot. My glasses, I can't even put on. Do you really care that little about your kids or your animals that you, you would actually make the decision to go in a store and leave your kid or animal in a car? How fucking stupid must you be? To leave your kid or animal in a car with the windows up on a hot summer day. In all honesty, anyone who leaves their kid or animal in a car must go to jail. They just have to. Just go to jail. Goodbye, because making the decision to leave them in a car is not only premeditated, but it's incredibly dangerous. That is the act of a criminal. And criminals go to jail. Case closed. Here's another one that drives me insane. You hear the reports of riptides at certain beaches up and down the coast. It's on the news. It's in the papers. It's posted on signs. It's tattooed on your sister's ass. And then people still go in. And they don't take the time to learn how to survive a riptide. It's like, if, if you're going to be that stupid and go in the ocean, at least know what happens if you get into a riptide. But no, everyone is so smart. Oh, no, not me. I'm different. I'm invincible. I'm a good swimmer. I'm strong. I only had 20 beers, and I can swim out of it if I get caught in a riptide. No, you can't, you fucking drunk idiot. No. Mother Nature is going to suck you and your stupid tiny brain right off to Never Never Land. If you're going to go in the ocean, will you just know if riptides are happening? And if they are and you still decide to go in, will you learn how to deal with it so you don't put other lives at risk trying to save your feeble-minded fat ass? Okay, here's the last one because now my head is starting to hurt with how stupid humanity is. You have kids and babies, you have a pool, then you either put a fucking alarm in that pool or you lock that fucking gate to the pool and you spend every second out at the pool while your kids are in the pool. You gotta be right next to them. These aren't baby otters. You're not an adult otter who had a baby who knows how to swim when they are born. These are human beings, you stupid jerk offs. These are your children, you fucking selfish shit for brains. If you didn't teach them to swim, then they don't know how to swim! Holy fucking shit in a basket. What the hell is happening to the human race? Stupid people who make summer deadly. That's what takes me off.